Hi, I'm Michelle Kang Kim, uh, Professor of Medicine and Co-Director of the Center for Carcinoid and Neuroendocrine Tumors at the Mount Sinai Hospital. I'm also Vice Chair for Faculty Affairs in the Department of Medicine. My life's work has been to study neuroendocrine tumors, namely the outcomes and the improvement of prediction of outcomes uh, in patients with neuroendocrine tumors. Our project is actually a really um, uh, innovative project. I'm extremely excited about it. Um, it involves um, collaboration with our pathology colleagues and our uh, computational scientists who leverage their expertise in systems pathology, ensuring that features that perhaps have been described in a more subjective way are now described in a more objective way that can actually be assessed automatically and digitally with computers. We have limited markers and limited methods to be able to understand how are patients going to do in the short term and the long term and how can we best treat them. So um, our project actually proposes to use something that every patient has, which is a biopsy, and to evaluate certain features with a systems pathology approach. And that means that um, essentially we are using artificial intelligence and other machine learning techniques to be able to systematically look at features under the microscope um, that will help us hopefully in uh, providing additional information, um, again, in predicting outcomes for patients and in understanding which patients perhaps can best be treated with which treatments. And so um, this collaboration is just a start, I think, of something that can be much bigger uh, and we hope will lead to um, a future work that will be funded by uh, the federal government, by foundation, and also perhaps using clinical trials. I am such a believer in this project because I do think that it will add uh, to the field substantially. Um, and essentially, you know, what we're looking for is that existing um, classification systems such as STAGE, such as GRADE, and such, some of our other biomarkers, that those are all fine, well and good, um, but we can do better than that. In this era of personalized medicine, um, you know, we should be able to predict more finely how patients can, uh, you know, can understand how they'll do in the future, and therefore that this is going to add valuable information um, at the time of diagnosis that will be very objective and clear cut. Something that I have realized with um, my over a decade of experience in this field is that the net community is very special. Um, it is unusually involved um, in every respect from the patients and the patient advocates to um, the physicians who um, have really demonstrated a life commitment to this work. Um, and so um, this work could not take place without the support, the very generous support um, of NetRF um, and our patients um, and donors. I'm often actually uh, told by other investigators in other fields that um, it seems like there is a particularly tight community and um, that we seem to have more research grants considering what a rare, uh, relatively rare condition this is. And I think that's largely due to um, the advocacy um, and the belief I think by everyone involved, again, from patients to physicians to scientists, that you know we all do our part because no one else can do it because there are so few of us relative to other cancers and other diseases. Thank you.